fire burning here. If we can reach that with that. The house does look cool, I agree. Got a, it's like built in a tree or something. Neat. Kind of like a hobbit's house, right? Get my mitten. We got some boiled water, which is gonna go and free up the key. Wait, what was that? It's a club! Random hand. Not sure what I need. Oh, because we're gonna make a rag and we're gonna get ourselves a little torch here. Here we go. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Go forward. I don't know if we have to light it up here. Let's see. No, we have to dip it in tar. I don't recall there being tar anywhere. Thank you, thank you. It does look like it's a treehouse, doesn't it? Look at it. Time for us to move forward. Such a huge pumpkin. It looks like someone is living here. It's a huge pumpkin. Aw. That's cool. Oh, look, we have to find mittens as one of our collectibles. Icicles, mittens. Owls, so far, are collectibles. Well, I guess we have to go here. I am really digging the footsteps here. This is pretty cool. Hello, we're coming in. Halfling Village. The village is situated on the hills between the plains and the dark woods. Its hard-working residents are mainly farmers and craftspeople, and they produce a great number of excess goods. This is why the tribe's more clever members never miss an opportunity to sell some of their goods to other peoples of the land. One of the most popular trading posts is Nomiana's Pumpkin, a shop located at the village entrance. Aha! Gonna take that owl. I'll buy the giant's wisdom teeth for 30. Wow. I would think it would be a marina, but I guess I'm wrong. It's a great pumpkin, yes, exactly. Footsteps over here. I bet this well hasn't been used in a long time. There's no handle, no rope. Hey, we found a piece of the puzzle here. Hmm. M -m 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 Morphing. That is one big pumpkin. How? Well, how does it not rot? <laughs> Hi. Wow. Hello there. Aren't you a lovely creature? Selling your wares. Look at all this stuff. I want to buy it all. I can't afford any of it. <laughs> oh, man. Hi there. Welcome to Namiana's Pumpkin, the best shop in the area. How can I help you? Hi. I'm looking for an old man by the name of Marin. Of course I know Marin. You're a little bit late, though. He went into the mountains with his squad. But... He was supposed to wait for me. I heard that something happened in the frozen mountains. It seems it's connected with our sudden fall in temperature. Winter at the end of summer? Whoever heard of such a thing? That's why he had to leave. To figure out the source of this cataclysm. But Marin forgot something here when he left. You can take it since you're meeting him anyway. Of course, thank you. By the way, what do you sell? Everything! Do you want to buy something? Look at what I have! Okay, I think you should come on our adventure together. I think two ladies adventuring makes the most sense. <laughs> Look at this outfit. I love it. It has like a bear on it and a moon and a cloud. It's almost like a Care Bear uh, pajama she's got on here. She is rocking it. She is not worried about this. <laughs> I can't afford it though. It's so ex well, it looks fancy though. I like how it comes with the boots, too. 
Unfortunately, I can't afford that. Dwarf Dungeon Souvenir. That seems like a little excessive. Can't afford that. Jar of Mushroom Bugs. Very expensive bugs. Jar of Niter. Ball of String. Dwarf Pickaxe. Like, to me, the most practical items in here are the Winter Outfit and the uh, Pickaxe. The rest of this stuff is kind of useless. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool that we have a mirror in here. Love it. Sorry, I cannot afford your exorbitant prices here. Unfortunately. So, uh, I will say adieu. We will be back. You're always welcome. Our goods for your kills. Your kills? Sure. So, cryptex, how does that help me? I uh, finished torched owl. Wait, do we have a map? Wait, 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 we have a map. I forgot about that. We can actually make sure we get all the collectibles too. Looks like we have to go back here. Yeah, 25 for a cute outfit. No kidding. Sign me up. Let go here. Yep. Yeah. So what do we got? What do we see? Scribbles. We are clever! Apparently we have arms up. We now have, know how the arms go. So we're gonna open up this top, top drawer. Let's do this. So I think that arm was... Wait. How do I... Oh, I see, okay. What's that? Is that the fire sound I hear in the background? That's pretty wild. Um... Oh, I see. Yay! No, I'm thinking 25 Krolls for that winter outfit is a great deal. Considering they want like 50 for a bunch of other random stuff. I think that's awesome. And yeah, wear it for this adventure and then sell it back in town. Great idea. Are we mending now? Oh, we've got to connect the dots. Connect the dots. We mended! And the boots do look cool, I agree. I have a terrible memory for mythical gods. To me, that's a skill in its own right. Let's get out of here. Man, the cold wind mixed in with the crackle of the fire. We have to somehow get some tar for our torch here. Let's go back. Now, uh, that is not correct. That one is correct. It's so pretty! Yes, that's what word fires are for. Well, where's the dungeon entrance? I better look for it. We are on the other side. This place is a mess. I wonder what this hole in the statue's breast is for. I don't think the owl will work. Oh, it will work. Huh. So, we. That's all this sparking over here. 
It's an energy orb. Well, I thank you. I will oral that. Promise to maybe one day bring it back. Yeah, I guess by us moving around, we are keeping ourselves warm in our PJs, our Care Bear PJs. It's all good. Look at all the chain everywhere. Huh. Morphing object. Wow, that was a tiny morphing object. Hello? Oh, it worked. Okay, we've got dead people down here. More girls or gnolls or whatever. Excellent. Oh, not quite enough though for our uh, outfit. We might have to actually buy the pickaxe first. That's unfortunate. What do we got? What do we see? I could use some tar to make a good torch. I can ship off the piece somehow. Where, where did our owl go? Seriously, where did the owl go? I feel like we could have used that right now. Um. Oh, maybe we can put this up here? No. That's weird. We had it just for a second. Yeah, see, I think you're right. I think we're gonna have to go buy the pickaxe. Yeah. Go to town here. I'm gonna buy your pickaxe. Hello. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I will see you as soon. Wow, she must have got lots of uh, business here being on the pathway. I agree. I like the map that shows the uh, collectibles and the morphing objects. It's nice. Very good. Go back down here. Chip off the old block here. All right, we got tar. Now we have to go back to our hut and cook it. Cook it real good. Uh, sure. Oh, we just dip it in there. We're all set. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Light it up, up, up. Thank you for doing what you just did there. That was great. We had a crowbar in the opening cutscene. Ah, it was like within the first like five seconds of the cutscene. It was great. Light it up, please. Well, I think you should uh, visit Canada. You know, uh, two places that uh, I really enjoyed were Newfoundland. Newfoundland uh, is really nice. And uh, I know that the uh, Vancouver area is really nice. Actually, Kelowna area in British Columbia is really nice too. Northern Ontario is basically uh, foresty. Unless you want to come to the big city, come to Toronto. Come to Toronto and see the see a show, or you could go to a sports game, or go to a movie, or go shopping. Whatever interests you in a big city. Depends on what you want to see. Do you want to see countryside, or do you want to see a big city? Montreal is really nice. If you want to have a bit of uh, French Canadian. Quebec City is more French than Montreal. Again, if you want to have that French experience. All right, let's do this. Wait, there's a glass collectible somewhere? Oh yeah, so there is. Thank you so much for shouting that out. Yeah, I, I lived downtown Toronto for, uh, what, three years? It's really good. 
These figurines go into the holes. Sure we, they do. So we've got another kind of uh, interactive scene. Look at all these potatoes. We've got the other half. Nom nom potatoes. Rooster figurine and a dial. Hmm. Nope, I guess the rooster goes there. I love that click sound. It's quite uh, satisfying. So, we have to get rid of the ropes. Apparently the stone is not going to do it for us. Okay. Uh, sure. Something's inside. Throw a stone at it. <laughs> a hint. I'm not sure what the hint's for. 